AITAH for locking up my, valuables, in my house? I, 21 female, and my boyfriend, 23 male, have been living together for two years. There has always been a bit of money struggle as I used to make more than him and have usually been picking up the slack in our household. However I have started a new job and am earning a lot less than before so I've started to be more cautious about the amount I am spending. During our relationship I would usually buy all of his toiletries and most household products. I told him I would not be doing this anymore as I need to cut down my own spending and he also works and is capable of buying things on his own. I thought we had agreed to this but as time has gone on I've noticed all of my expensive skincare and even my own deodorant being used up really quickly. I asked him multiple times to please not use my stuff and even bought him his own skincare so that he could have his own things. The thing that set me off was that I had bought myself a $220 dollar face wash that is only supposed to be used sparingly. I have horrible EasySema that I have prescriptions for and the products I buy are specifically for my EasySema. I hadn't used it in a while and when I picked up the bottle it was empty. He laughed and said he would replace it and then refused when he learned of the price. I took inventory of everything else I owned and found out he had used up to $800 worth of product in around 3 months. I know he isn't naive because I tell him the price of everything I get and tell him not to use them. I ended up buying a safe that I put under the sink and I put everything I had left inside and hid the key so when I go to shower and get ready I can use my own things and not worry about not affording to keep my skin in check. When he found out he lost it and said that I was overreacting and that I don't trust him. It's turned into a massive deal and my friends think I'm being harsh. I simply cannot afford to keep buying more skincare, and I've even been hospitalized this year due to a huge flare-up I had after running out of products. He's taking it very seriously and I don't know what else to do as I've already tried asking. Am I the asshole? I mean not the asshole but if you're at the, buy a safe because I can't trust him to not use my stuff, stage, just break up. Not the asshole. Why do people stay with people like this? You are locking up your stuff in a safe significant other he doesn't steal it and he's getting mad at you for it. Do you see how ridiculous that is? He has absolutely no respect for you. And that was the final thing that caused me to break up with him, is what you say to everyone because this is clearly the proverbial last straw. This guy is disrespecting you and using you. Time to kick his leechy ass to the beachy. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your boyfriend sucks and taking advantage of you. Am I the asshole for refusing to cook dinner? Obviously a throwaway because my husband enjoys spending time on Reddit. I, F23, have been married to my husband, John, M24, for a year now. And recently, aka 5 weeks ago, we welcomed our first baby, F. I'm currently on maternity leave, which my husband has interpreted it as me being a stay-at-home mom instead of taking time to rest before I needed to return to work. I don't really mind it too much, since cleaning my house is soothing for me, and a good distraction from my sleep deprivation, lol. I've always been this way, and John does still do his share of household chores. He does most of the outdoor work and he'll sweep, vacuum. But recently, he's been writing me about not having dinner ready when he gets home. He works from 8 5.30, so it's not a completely unreasonable time for dinner, but it's not like I can just stop taking care of our daughter to cook him a meal. I can usually talk him down, and he'll watch daughter while I cook. A few days ago, however, he came into the house and began berating me for not having dinner, ready and waiting, so he could just walk in and sit to eat. I was actively changing my daughter's diaper while he went on this rant. He went as far as to say that he put up with my laziness for long enough and that I needed to do my job properly. I didn't say anything to him at that moment. I went and cooked dinner, and he seemed pretty proud of himself for winning the conversation. But I only have a few more weeks to stay home with my baby girl, and I'm not going to have that stomped on because of my husband. So ever since that day, I go to my mom's house for dinner. She's totally okay with this BTW. I don't cook anything for John, and I'm already at my mom's by the time he gets home. I still clean at home and keep the house tidy, but I don't cook dinner. John has been furious with me, and has been telling me that I'm an asshole for leaving him to starve. I just want to have a peaceful environment before I have to go back to work, so Reddit, am I the aw? You know when you go back to work you'll still be married to him right? Major red flags. Location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag. 1. Talk him down, from what? Anger? This is not a topic worthy of rage or anger. 2. 
Watch our daughter, you mean, be a parent? 3. Berating, to have dinner ready and waiting? 4. Put up with, your laziness? This person is serious trouble. He's treating abusively. Please get out. Not the asshole. You're married to a 24-year-old who thinks it's a woman's job to have dinner on the table when he gets home every night. When she's on maternity leave. Who raised this man? I don't want to know about the in-law situation. Does he watch Andrew Tate? Not the asshole. His expectations are wildly out of control. Have you sat down and talked this out with him at some point when he's not actively flying off the handle? Am I the asshole for not telling my roommate that I bought a house until after I closed? I recently closed on a property and didn't tell my roommate until after I closed. My roommate was a good friend of 8 years until they reacted poorly to this news. I didn't feel comfortable telling them as I was going through the home buying process due to a number of factors including the fact that I wasn't sure if I was ever going to land the plane since my bank didn't make the mortgage process easy for me. I'm the type of person who tries not to share premature news. However, upon telling them yesterday morning, they freak out and tells me I should have looped them in on the process because that's what friends do and they're a stakeholder in my life. They're hurt because I didn't tell them earlier and it damages our relationship because I withheld the news. I tried to soften the blow of the news by getting them cupcakes but they threw the cupcakes clear across the room once they heard of the news. I honestly don't think it was incumbent on me to share the news before I felt comfortable and given how they're reacting, I think my senses were right. This is also not going to impact them financially either as I'm giving them more than 30 days notice to find a new living situation. Am I the asshole? Edit. They are not about to lose their home. Although, they have to find a new roommate to replace me. Edit 2. Wow, this blew up. I just looked at my lease and it expired last month. However, I had the option of keeping the same rent price for two years. I'm on a month to month now. Edit 3. I also want to make it amply clear that even prior to this debacle, my roommate didn't make me feel safe or welcome in my home. I can point to several instances in which my boundaries were violated. Yes, you are the asshole. 39 days from finding out you have to move to being homeless is not long enough unless there's no other option. You could have told your roommate ages ago. Them knowing wouldn't have affected you in any way but it would have allowed them to look around for options. You just wanted to make sure you had their financial contribution to the last possible second and never mind how it affected them. Oh and also, cupcakes to soften the news? Do you seriously think cupcakes are equal to facing losing your home in 4 weeks? Oh shit, I've got nowhere to go, but at least I ate a cake last month. No. Hey you have to move out in 30 days or find a new roommate to take over my half. I already closed on this property I forgot to tell you about. Oh and here's some cupcakes. Yes you are the asshole loudly crying. Edit, since so many people keep commenting the same thing. Am I the asshole for being annoyed my mill ate my dinner? Tonight my mill came over for dinner I made Swedish meatballs in gravy with mashed potato, broccoli and homemade bread. In my house we tend to eat in the lounge room unless it's a big event so I dish up everyone's meal. Kids, mill and husband I take their meals to them and then before serving mine I have to run out to the line and grab some clothes that I hung out earlier. No big deal. I served up generous portions for everyone way more than I thought they could eat but when I got back from the line my dinner was gone. I asked if anyone knew what had happened to the food on the bench and Mill pipes up and says she wanted some more. She's piled her bowl full of meatballs. Way more than she would ever eat. I'm stunned. I figure oh well. I'll just grab some fast food a bit later or something because maybe she was super hungry. My bad for not cooking enough. But once she's eaten what she wants, she asks for a container so she can take her extra portion home for dinner the next night. I'm pretty annoyed at this point and mention that it was meant to be my dinner for that night not her takeaway meal for the next night. She says, oh well you can eat it then, and I reply with, no thank you. And hand her a container. I didn't want to eat her leftovers. She leaves and my husband puts the kids to bed. When he comes back in he asks what's wrong and I tell him that I'm hungry. I cooked the meal and didn't get to eat any of it and I'm pissed off about it. He agrees Mill was way out of line and messages her that her actions were greedy and selfish. She owes me an apology. She replies telling him that I acted like an asshole, I should have cooked more and anticipated that she would take home a portion for the next day, she offered me what she didn't eat and I didn't want it. It's not her fault and that I owe her an apology for my attitude and snarky comment. She's also posting on social media about what happened and people are saying that I'm an asshole. 
and a rude hostess. I should also add I'm currently pregnant and I feel like I can be quite unreasonable at times due to hormones. Am I the asshole? Reading your replies, you know she did this on purpose, right? She wanted to start this fight with you. She took all of the food before you had eaten any, and then demanded to take leftovers. She's fucking with you. Don't ever cook for her again. Not the asshole. Who the f eats someone else's dinner without asking? Jesus Christ. There is a special place in hell for anyone who eats a pregnant woman's food and makes her go hungry. Not the asshole at all op. And your mill is a. Well, I can't say it because I'll get banned. Why didn't your husband immediately offer you his plate or to order something for you then and there? When your pig of a mill said she'd eaten your dinner? Not the asshole just never invite her again and if your husband invites her, he has to cook for her person shrugging light skin tone male sign. All problem solved. Not the asshole. I don't think your mill likes you very much. Also who brings leftovers home from someone else's house without being offered?